Scientists from the International Xenon Collaboration announced today that data from their Xenon 1 ton, the world's most sensitive dark matter experiment, show surprising excess of events. The scientists do not claim to have found dark matter. Instead, they say to have observed an unexpected rate of events, the source of which is not yet fully understood. The signature of the excess is similar to what might result from a tiny residual amount of tritium, a hydrogen atom with one proton and two neutrons, but could also be a sign of something more exciting, such as the existence of a new particle known as the solar axon, or the indication of previously unknown properties of neutrinos. Xenon 1 ton was operated deep underground at the ANFN Laboratori Nazionale del Gran Sasso in Italy from 2016 to 2018. It was primarily designed to detect dark matter, which makes up 85% of the matter in the universe. So far, scientists have only observed indirect evidence of dark matter, and a definitive direct detection is yet to be made. So-called WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, are among the theoretically preferred candidates. The Xenon 1 ton detector was filled with 3.2 tons of ultra-pure liquefied xenon, two tons of which served as a target for particle interactions. When a particle crosses the target, it can generate tiny signals of light and free electrons from a xenon atom. Most of these interactions occur from particles that are known to exist. Scientists, therefore, carefully estimated the number of background events in xenon 1 ton. When data of xenon 1 ton were compared to known backgrounds, a surprising excess of 53 events over the expected 232 events was observed. This raises the exciting question, where is this excess coming from? One explanation could be a new, previously unconsidered source of background, caused by the presence of tiny amounts of tritium in the xenon 1 ton detector. Only a few tritium atoms for every 10 to the 25th xenon atoms would be needed to explain the excess. Currently, there are no independent measurements that can confirm or disprove the presence of tritium at that level in the detector. More excitingly, another explanation could be the existence of a new particle. In fact, the excess observed has an energy spectrum similar to that expected from axons produced in the Sun. Alternatively, the excess could also be due to neutrinos, trillions of which pass through your body every second. One explanation could be that the magnetic moment of neutrinos is larger than its value in the standard model of elementary particles. Of the three explanations considered by the Xenon collaboration, the observed excess is most consistent with the solar axon signal. In statistical terms, the solar axon hypothesis has a significance of 3.5 sigma, meaning that there is about a 2 over 10,000 chance that the observed excess is due to a random fluctuation rather than a signal. While this significance is fairly high, it is not large enough to conclude that axons do exist. The significance of both the tritium and neutrino magnetic moment hypothesis correspond to 3.2 sigma, meaning that they are also consistent with the data. Xenon 1 ton is now upgrading to its next phase, Xenon n ton, with an active xenon mass three times larger and a background that is expected to be lower than that of Xenon 1 ton. With better data from Xenon and Tan, the Xenon collaboration is confident it will soon find out whether this excess is a mere statistical fluke, a background contaminant, or something far more exciting, a new particle or interaction that goes beyond known physics.